Hey friends, welcome back to your girl Brittany and I have a project share of what I did with the Smooth Jazz collection that was created by Decorate Your Life. If you missed the unboxing video, don't worry, I will have that linked for you so you can go back and get in full detail of the collection. And also down below in the description box is the link to the website so you can go ahead and either order the physical collection or you can do digital and especially great for those who are international. Also down below, you'll have the links to all the people who are part of the design team as well as myself. I mean, you're already here, so psh, duh. And you can go ahead and see what amazing things that they have created with this project as well as others. Um, we do this not only just to showcase the collection, but to also give you ideas of what you like to do. So this is um, Christmas in July inspired. And so... Uh, I, I know that we like to start early because the actual Christmas season, the holiday season, is the busiest and we can't always get behind our craft desk. So getting it started early, having a lot of your stuff done and ready to go so then that way you don't have to worry about it in the end. You know what I'm saying? So don't forget down below is the website. Also, there's a coupon code for you so you can go ahead and save. And don't forget to make sure that you are following Decorate Your Life because they're always doing some special giveaways, especially if you are using the collection, you're sharing, um, using the hashtag Decorate Your Life or the collection that you're using to participate in the giveaway. So without further ado, let me show you what I did. All right, so I created various things um, instead of doing like one big final project as I have been doing with these project shares. I decided to do a few smaller things and then kind of showing you and giving you guys ideas. And then I wanted to do more, but my life is so chaotic. It's not even funny. So I mean, you can laugh on the inside to hide all the tears, you know. But anyways, so I'm going to start off with I did some treat bags. Um, this is just using like one of the collections. These are not decorated. Um, I'm trying to get this video done because I have a very, very busy week ahead of me. So um, I'm like, you know what? I have a couple of them already decorated to give you guys an idea. So these two I did not decorate, but you can see how easy you can go ahead and do it. This is using the full paper, which is, um, I want to say it's eight by eight, if I'm not mistaken. But then I do have a couple of them that are decorated. So if you go back to that unboxing video, um, actually not the Smooth Jazz one, but the Stars and Stripes unboxing video, there were the foam um, pieces that I said that were given to us. And so I went ahead and I used it, utilized it with this collection. So right here, I did this one kind of like a gift wrapping. And then I added some little leaves here, added a pretty flower with the bow, added my favorite flower, the calla lily. So this is just a fun way to jazz up a cute little um, treat bag. You can, of course, put like a candy bar or something in there. Great coworker gift, great teacher gift, whatever tickles your fancy. And then you have enough room to kind of tuck in like a, you know, two from type of thing. And then this one is like extra, extra. So I took some of the cut apart pieces in the collection, add a cute little Christmas tree. We have some pretty leaves. I added this felt um, wrap around it. And then I added a bow on top of that, pretty flowers. So just, again, another fun way to go ahead and decorate and just be festive and pretty because you guys know how I am. And then this next one here, I have some pre-made boxes that were in my stash. And so what I did was I took one of the cutter part pieces and sized it down, placed it on top of there, added some gingham ribbon here, added a cute little wreath charm, added some cute little enamel dots. And then inside are just like some fun little um, tags that again, using the little cutter part pieces, you can add your two from on the inside of it and then add it to your gift. So here I just added a bow and some um, poinsettia stickers in the background here's one of the pretty little ladies there added a gingham bow and then here again using that uh, glitter foam with the star in the center and then we have this one the little enamel dots in the corner and then this one as well and again you can add your little to from on the inside or write a cute little message and then add it on to your gift to whomever so those are always quick and simple ideas and just like to have um, just a simple basic decorating on there. 
but it's still cute like no one's gonna really expect it and that's not something that you can find in the stores so my bigger project that i have which i absolutely love ta-da Mickey little box so i do have a tutorial on this already um you guys know i am a handmade maker um i do have cutting machines i do have dies but a lot of times you girl it's just a lot quicker for me just to hand make something instead of grabbing out all my tools so um i do i will have this video linked for you here so with this one um and the not the stars and stripes but the um the ballet um collection one that we received um we got this in our pr bo pr box and i used the remainder i had left just to kind of do as a closure here so um i went ahead and i added some gold flat backs going all the way around and like the little black center like these little black center pieces here and i went ahead and added them on there here i have some little glitter black foam hearts added the champagne color one here and then we have this pretty black bow that was in my stash and on this side i did some fussy cutting from the collection so you have the little sofa chair in the background the pretty lady you know opening up her gifts chilling relaxing and then again with the bow and the hearts going down here then i had some flowers in my stash here as well what i did was a um, for like the white ones i distressed it and then i added some um, stickles to my distressing tool and then added that on the edges there and so and i did that here on the black ones as well i think that turned out really really pretty and then so we just unravel this and then it opens up and so you can go ahead and put your goodies in the center here. You can add cards. These are three inches in width. Um, so you can go ahead and add cards here if you want to or any treats or anything. And then these are just mirroring each other from the collection. Here's the front of those boxes that I used from the collection as well. And in the original tutorial, I believe I had a way of you creating pockets right here. So if you want to add something in these spaces here as well as in the center. So that is my creations for this wonderful, beautiful collection. And again, I wanted to do more, but your girl was just running out of time because my life is life. -in. And so um, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, make sure you're checking out down below for all the ladies in, who are part of the design team and also any guest appearances that may, we may have. And check to see what they are creating. Get some ideas. Get the ball rolling. Again, the website is down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because your girl might do a giveaway with this video. Hmm, I wonder. But I guess you're just gonna have to wait and see. So make sure um, you're doing what you're supposed to do, liking, subscribing, commenting, and all that fun jazz. And until next time, Bye.